In the previous video, we were talking about the general information of Comet Leonard, a comet that will become very bright in just a week. Today I will show you the easiest way to find this object in the sky, even if you don't have binoculars or a telescope. Carry on watching this video if you want to see one of the best astronomical events of the year 2021. Will be very interesting. Let's start with a small update. The comet is not disintegrating, it's still pretty much alive and will be visible to the naked eye in the dark skies. The first two weeks of this month mark the best time to find and observe the comet. Currently it's visible through small binoculars and telescopes and I recommend everyone to start hunting the comet right now. Beginning from December 6, its magnitude will reach 5.5, which means that it could be visible to the naked eye far from city lights. It'll continue to brighten until December 14th, when it reaches the magnitude of 4.2. Let me remind you, if the magnitude is smaller than 6, then a celestial object is visible to the naked eye. In the case of Comet Leonard, during the brightest days of its existence, it'll be located only 10 degrees above the southwest horizon. Thus, I can't really say if it's visible to the naked eye in light polluted skies, but I can give you some tips on how to increase your chances to see it. First of all, there won't be any moonlight during the first two weeks of December, and there is always a small possibility of the rapid brightening of the comet. Secondly, you'll have to use a sky map, because trying to find the comet using my pictures is kinda annoying. For PC and phone users, I left a link to a magnificent online planetarium called Stellarium. Stellarium has a simple interface, using this tab you can set the necessary time, and by pressing this button you can indicate your location. I'm not really sure why, but I can't find Comet Leonard in the search tab, that's why you will need to find it manually. You need to set your time to 2 a.m. and zoom in the area above the eastern horizon. Here we go, this is Comet Leonard. Now all you need to do is select the comet and you will be able to find out where it's located, for instance on December 6 at 4 a.m. In the upper left corner is also specified the magnitude the distance to the comet, and when it's visible in your skies. Now that we know how to find Comet Leonard, I'll tell you some tips on how to see it even in your light polluted town. First of all, find a dark site, such as a beautiful park or a pond surrounded by trees. You know, that would be quite pointless to try to see the comet in the downtown of New York, Delhi, London, or wherever you reside. Generally, the best solution would be to go as far as 50 kilometers from the city center, where you will certainly see the comet without a telescope. Second, spend at least 10 minutes looking at the sky, and do not use flashlights, smartphones, or any sources of light. Your eyes need to adapt to the darkness, since Comet Leonard is a very, very faint object. You should also choose the night mode in your digital sky map, because red light doesn't affect your eyes. By the way, Christmas is coming, and it means that the current month is December, and December means very cold nights in the Northern Hemisphere. Do not forget to take warm clothes, a chair to sit on, and you can also subscribe to a very interesting channel. And finally, if you really want to see the comet, you should definitely purchase small binoculars or a telescope. Using optical instruments would be the best solution if you want to notice the comet in light polluted skies. After reaching the peak of its brightness, Comet Leonard will be visible through small binoculars by the end of the year. Look for it very low above the southwest horizon about an hour after sunset. Don't waste your time, just go and take stunning images of the comet or write in the comment section what it looked like through binoculars. In case you manage to take pictures of this stunning piece of space ice, email me or send a private message on Discord. I'll show you your photos in one of my future videos. And as always, thanks for watching very interesting videos. Bye.